Hi everybody. I hope you're having a great day or start of your day wherever you are. Mary, I'm here back with you. Today we're going to talk about frequency and vibration. Everything we know vibrates. For example, um, light vibrates and vibrates at a very high speed versus a rock, for example, vibrates at a low speed. But they both vibrate. They have a frequency with which they vibrate. As a result, so do humans. Everything on this planet vibrates. So as humans, we do too. And what determines the rate of our frequency and vibration is our thoughts because they too are energy and frequency and whichever kind of energy we put out we tend to attract that to us we've all heard that before so how do we determine where we stand on this scale from the lowest to the highest if we, for example, know some people and we refer to them as really vibrant, they're the ones who are clearly vibrating at a higher frequency versus someone who's kind of feeling hmm, low, maybe pessimistic, and therefore their frequency a little bit lower. Now, in order to gauge where we stand, we can decide between these two perhaps extremes or between these two sides where we stand. There is a wonderful little fun thing you can do in order to determine um, where you stand or where you want to stand is focusing on something that brings you pleasure something that makes you happy you know take like five minutes in the day and just think about something that some experience that you enjoyed a lot think about it just get into that experience for five minutes really deep into that whatever it was that was a very happy one for you and after that gauge assess and see how you feel regarding having to pretty much re-experience that joy for yourself. See where you are and you will find out most likely that you would be in a higher state, vibrationally speaking. So that would put you in a higher vibration because it was something positive, right? There are different things that you can keep um, you can try to keep you in this higher vibrational state. You can do affirmations, you know, put them in places where you can see them every day. You can meditate and get into this state of your happy place, rather, you know, in your meditation, so to speak. Or just try this five minute thing that I suggested. Believe me, that is going to keep you in that higher vibrational state. And that is focusing on positive and good things. We all are here to experience life as a joyful thing. And all we can do is increase positively our own experience of being here and through that perhaps be of help and service to others because if we raise our own vibration guess what will affect other people's vibration also will attract not only the same kind of vibration to ourselves the same kind of frequency to ourselves law of attraction we can also affect someone else's vibration especially people around us immediately so let's try this let's all try this for this week five minutes just five minutes and that would raise your vibration 
My suggestion would be earlier in the day is a little more effective because you have the rest of the day to be in that wonderful state. I hope this was helpful for you. I will see you next week. If you find this video useful, please share it with your friends and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Core Shift. Many thanks. Namaste.